What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Jake aka In God's Reach here bringing you guys another video. In today's video guys, I am going to be doing another um, voiceover commentary of some more Paragon on Monolith. As you guys can see, it's another Gideon gameplay. And as you guys can also see, the title of the video is How to Mid Lane like a pro bros okay bros and bros of fiends bro so basically in this video i'm just going to be telling you guys my tips of how to mid lane like a pro in this game i actually get a flawless i go 10 and 0 with my dude with my dude the devil gideon i love this skin it was the halloween skin and i love it love playing with the skin and i always seem to do solid with this skin so without further ado guys let's get in to the first and final five tips on how to mid lane like a champion now, tip number one, guys, sabotage the enemy. Now, I know some of these tips might actually come off and come to you guys as somewhat simplistic, but they get overran. You know, nobody really thinks about these tips, you know, especially when playing mid lane. But the first thing I would say is just like what I said, sabotage the enemy. As you guys can see, I don't know if I do it as much in this game, but most of the time I do sabotage the enemy. Sabotage them before they sabotage you because ganks are crucial in middle lane and they're crucial in monolith just because this middle lane is the smallest lane here now if you have a good jungler like a chimera or like let's say a severog or you know a grux or somebody like that like a solid jungler who is aggressive in the middle lane and wants to get those ganks if you end up being aggressive within the middle lane and you are sabotaging the enemy you know making them go down a little bit of health i don't know if i'm i don't do it as much in this gameplay um as i thought i did in the beginning but most of the time, I would be sabotaging Howitzer. I would be doing that stuff just like here. Um, I am going to be sabotaging. And I think I did miss. I did miss. But, you know, helping out that lane there. But definitely sabotage the enemy, guys. I would say that that's a crucial tip in the beginning of the game. It's just going to make them more intimidated by you. And it's going to make you feel more confident. Especially if they're going to be trying to sabotage you and they can't get you. So, sabotage the lane. This leads me into my next tip guys and as you guys can see right here i call it the wtr bro work the river you know work the river get these buffs um that's the biggest thing i would say even though i kind of just wasted that invisible buff and i could have i should have sabotaged howitzer um work the river wtr ladies and gents bro that is especially that's that's what i'm gonna say here um work the river i am getting these buffs guys it's solid it's crucial you know all the buffs are solid in this game and i love the river buffs work the river you know definitely do that and definitely help out other teammates especially like i said before if you have a solid jungler now if that jungler wants the buffs definitely communicate through the team chat if he does want those buffs so that you can kind of you know so that you can kind of work the river with him as you guys can see here i am sabotaging my dude right here real quick he does hit me with a nice little push but as you guys can see i do get out of it because i get a flawless in this game bro i don't die bro you kidding me come on son but work the river guys so definitely work the river get those river buffs communicate with your jungler on who wants those buffs and oh wait do i get him here no i don't i thought i did but i don't but that's gonna lead us into our third tip and all these tips kind of roam together guys they all kind of go together so tip number three is help out the other lanes man if you guys aren't doing this already you're crazy bro help out the other lanes as you guys can see i helped our graystone left lane when he did have a problem with um with steel and i forget whoever else was over there but definitely help them out guys that's a definite thing that you guys have to do is help out those other lanes now if you guys do help out the other lanes one it's going to gain the respect from your teammates and two you might even get your own little gank even being a mid laner bro because definitely do that especially with gideon you know with gideon and, and i would even say howie's howie's alt you know they're solid when you end up going over there you hit gideon's hit gideon's alt and you get that portal um start sucking everybody into your hole bro start sucking everybody into that hole you know you're you're, you're guaranteed basically to either get a kill or get an assist there so definitely helping out you know other lanes whether it's early game or middle game sabotaging howie right now as you guys can see dropping that cosmic rift on him um helping out of the lanes though guys working the river and sabotaging the enemies are definitely crucial throughout the whole game don't just do it in the beginning of the game and don't just do it in the middle of the game or the end of the game do it the whole game now this one this next tip tip number four is going to kind of be um my own tip you know it's something that's not really going to help you out a shit ton 
but it's use your common sense guys it's common sense when you're playing paragon any moba in that aspect it's common sense you know you have to have this common sense so that you don't you know you don't get picked off or you don't you know i mean i would say have wards as well but i don't even think i have wards on this deck you know, just because, you know, I, I feel confident enough that I don't really need wards. If I were to get wards, I would get them to help out my boy Greystone over here. But, as you guys can see, sabotaging and helping out the enemy. Now, I do pick off Sparrow. We do end up getting Sparrow here, I think. Let me see. Yeah, I get that kill. That's the first kill of the 10 kill flawless. And I helped out the other lane. Now, that is what I'm talking about. That's also common sense used there as well. You know, I feel like I could get her, so I use my alt. Steel gets there late, and then Greystone even gets out because Chimera shows up, and we end up getting that kill with Sparrow. But common sense, guys. It's basically if somebody solo left, you know, and they got three people over there, and your lane's pushed, get your ass over that left lane, bro. If your lane's pushed and they need some help, they're they're screaming out, bro, with the with the team communications. They need some help definitely go over there and help them don't worry about the middle lane because your lane if it's already pushed correctly isn't going to get pushed all the way back by the time you get back to the middle lane you'll be solid but that leads us to our next last and final tip is to know the hero that you are playing with this goes with anything especially mid lane like i said in the beginning middle lane is the smallest lane it's the shortest lane it's the easiest to get out of but then again it's the easiest to die in you know what I'm saying? I mean, off lane's pretty pretty easy to die in as well, just because it's the longest. But middle lane, I would say, is definitely the next closest to being, you know, it's an easy death if you do get picked off by two to three, two to three enemy heroes. You know, so know your, know your hero. You know, know your hero. That comes with common sense too, guys. It all goes together, man. It's solid common sense. Know your hero. You know, honestly, know his abilities. Have a solid deck for the hero as well. Um, don't go in there with like some default decks that Epic ends up having. You know, look at this, guys. Look at this shit right here, boys and girls. That is knowing my hero. That's knowing what I got. And that's sabotaging the enemy. That's what that is. Sabotaging the enemy, using that all, using all my abilities there just to get that one kill before my teammates even show up to that middle lane. Sabotaging the enemy once more here with this Chimera. As you guys can see, look at this. Beans, bro. Look at these beans, man. Sabotaging the enemy. Right here. I don't even think I get him because I ran out of mana. But my boy Twin Blast does go because I am a decoy. I am a decoy for that um, for that tower. So we ended up do we ended up getting that kill. You know, because we did use our common sense there. You know, if I would have left, Twin Blast would have ended up getting shot. But I stayed there to be that decoy so that Twin Blast could get that final shot and that final kill on that chimera it's common sense guys a lot of paragon is just common sense you know you'll get teammates that just have no common sense in the game that just get shitty and butthurt over everything and then you'll have teammates that are just great with communication i had a game today where we started out and the guy wanted to surrender at 35 minutes because we were losing ended up coming back and winning destroyed all three inhibitors and then destroyed the core just i mean just crushed you know guys just crushed and um you know, doing stuff like this in teamwork is, I mean, teamwork's also key, especially in middle lane. But guys, a lot of it, like I said, is common sense and knowing, knowing your hero. That's why I put those at the last, because they're not really crucial tips on how to get better at mid lane, but it's definitely how to be a pro at mid lane. You're going to get well, you're going to get better, and you're going to do a lot better and do a, I mean, you're just going to, you're going to, I mean, if you're not comfortable with a hero, then what the hell are you doing? You know, play with the hero and just, you know, get comfortable with the hero. Um, because if you get comfortable with the hero, you know his abilities, and you use your common sense, you use your mind a little bit, guys, you're going to be a beast, bro. Whether that's left lane, whether that's off lane, safe lane, jungle, or middle lane, like my boy Gideon here. So, a little recap here, guys. Sabotage the enemy is number one. Always sabotage the enemy. Hit him with the cosmic rift as I'm doing here. Destroying the enemy, sabotaging just to intimidate them. Number two, WTR, ladies and gents, work that river number one thing there as well these are all number one tips bro i'm giving these all number one tips man um but number two i guess i would say number two and number one sabotage the enemy work that river get those river buffs communicate with your jungler on who should get the river buffs 
um, and always execute with those river buffs. You know, if you have the red, if you have the red buff, it gives your abilities that extra damage, that extra power. Definitely, you know, use that, use that buff to sabotage the enemy more. If you have the invisible buff, then use that buff to help out other lanes and kind of get the, uh, kind of get the pick off. But that does lead us to the third tip, guys, on the recap is help out those other lanes as well. You know, how about those other lanes? Do well. As you guys can see, Decker is over here helping me out. Um, it gains respect for the team. And it does. I mean, you're gonna you're you're gonna get kills, guys. You're gonna get kills, you're gonna get assists if you do help out other lanes. It's just the way it goes, guys. And then, of course, number four, use that common sense, boys and girls, ladies and gents, bros and bros of fiends, man. Common sense is crucial. Anybody that I've played with will tell you. Anybody that I do play with, Zargon in my last video. Um, his common sense is huge with the game. You know, it's huge with the game. Um, and, and our teamwork is just so solid that we always have solid games. I love playing with him because he's such a good teammate, such a good communicator, and our teamwork is phenomenal. And then number five as well, guys, know your hero. You know, know the abilities, man. Know what you're getting yourself into. As you guys can see here, I do tether him and then hit him with the last shot just to get my third kill. We are destroying that as well. And as you guys will see, using my abilities here all day. I don't know what I'd do here. I might actually retreat. I do retreat because I don't want to die, bro. <laughs> that would kill the flawless boys and girls. But that is going to lead us to the end of the tips, guys. And as always, have fun. You know, have fun with the game, man. If you got a, if you got a teammate that's bitching, bro, tell him, you know, Shut your mouth, man. We got a good game going on. We got a solid team. We're having a good time. Always have fun, right? Because honestly, MOBAs, man, they're meant to have fun. You know, they can be like League of Legends with all those Chinese and Korean kids and Japanese kids, you know, only eating like once every 48 hours, bro. But so far, you know, with Paragon, with Smite, and even with League of Legends for me and Dota 2 even, I guess I would say, because all those are MOBAs that I play, I was like having a good time, man. I was like having fun, you know, and always help out teammates as well. You know, this basically just goes with everything here, but um, always have fun, guys. And if you did enjoy the video, if you enjoyed the tips, um, definitely use the tips. Try out the tips, even though some of the tips are just my own personal tips of just saying common sense and knowing the hero. They're pretty simplistic tips, guys. If you did enjoy it, though, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and of course, smash that subscribe button for weekly monolith paragon videos man i'll be doing other videos on how to jungle i've been jungling like a beast right now with severog and grux um and i'm just having a fun time as you guys can see here i probably will end me talking with this kill on steel right here bro with this kill on steel and when with this kill on steel that's a tongue twister man say that five times bro good luck man good luck but like I said, if you enjoyed, comment, like, smash that subscribe button. And as always, guys, I am going to let the game go with the, er, with the instrumental in the background. If you guys did enjoy, sorry, Howie, I just had to do it to you, bro. Definitely leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video. Give it a big thumbs up. As always, take care and peace out. Thanks.